Red Ranger, this is the end for you. I don't know what Rita's done to you, Green Ranger, but you gotta snap out of this. Green Ranger, you can't defeat me that easy. <laughs> Red Ranger, it won't be that hard. My Empress Rita has tasked me with destroying you, and it shall happen. The Sword of Darkness! Come on, man, how strong of a grip does Rita have on you? What grip do you speak of? I serve Rita willingly. No ranger serve Rita willingly. It's gonna blow! Not the sword of darkness! You all right, man? Yeah. What happened? We destroyed the Sword of Darkness together. What? Wow. I feel weird. Rita's spell on you is broken. I think you're right. Are you okay? My head's foggy. But yet I feel like I'm thinking clearly for the first time in a long time. Listen, Green Ranger. No pressure. I'll give you a chance to think about it. You need to make this decision on your own. But we'd love to have you join the Power Rangers. Yeah, that'd be awesome, man. All right, let's do it. Power Rangers! Hey, boys and girls. Welcome to another super exciting, outrageous toy review. Today, we're taking a look at a Power Ranger 2-pack. Good versus evil. This was exclusively available at Walmart. The pack contains Jason the Red Ranger and Tommy the Green Ranger. Other sets were available featuring characters from Dino Charge. Mega Force and Samurai. So we've got Jason, or Rocky, the Red Ranger from Mighty Morphin Power Rangers here. This figure has seen release a couple of different times, most recently in this pack as well as the Then and Now pack when the Power Ranger movie was out. But even before that, there was a line of this style figures that focused mostly on the Red Rangers and the uh, Special Rangers, the Six Rangers, and so we saw this guy before. He comes with an all red power sword. No Blade Blaster this time. Usually he comes with one of those that can peg into his belt there. He has nice details and nice articulation. You can see he's got paint details on his back. Amazing sculpting on his belt with the power coin there. Articulation at the head, at the shoulders, at the elbows, and at the wrists. So it's pretty good. The only thing I kind of wish he had was an elbow swivel so you could bring his arms in front of him. This is a joint that's often left out of Power Ranger figures. Nothing at the waist there. He has great Power Ranger hips. He's got knee joints and boot cut articulation. So a very well-rounded figure of one of my favorite all-time Power Rangers, the greatest Red Ranger ever, uh, Jason Scott. The pack also includes an evil Green Ranger, of course. All you gotta do is get rid of the Sword of Darkness, and now he's a good Green Ranger. Here we have Tommy Oliver, maybe the greatest Ranger of all times. He's been a Green Ranger, a White Ranger, a Red Ranger twice, a Black Ranger. Uh, I mean, it just goes on and on. Tommy Oliver is one of the most important characters in all of Power Ranger history, being the Ranger in the most episodes. Such a great character. I'm glad Jason David Frank is involved in the Power Ranger lore and willing to do stuff like the Super Mega Force episodes and being involved with this uh, Shattered Grid, the new comic book series and, and Power Rangers Hyper Force and everything. It's really great. This figure is very similar to the Jason figure with articulation, although his armor does interfere somewhat with his arm articulation. The armor is a gold piece. It has the straps that go underneath his arms. They did a great job with him as far as like having the correct paint with his gloves and boots. He's got his Dragon Zord Power Coin there on his belt. So they did a great job of making him accurate. He has all the same articulation 
with elbows, shoulders, and glove swivels, hip joints, knee joints, boot swivels. So he's a great figure. He comes with a gold dragon dagger here. Not sure why that wasn't silver. It can peg on his belt there. No holsters for these guys. And then, of course, like I said, he has the silver sort of darkness. These weapons are very gummy and easily warped in the package. But this is a fun set. If you are a Mighty Morphin Power Ranger fan and you don't have the Red and Green Ranger yet, I don't see how you could pass up on these guys if you can find them at your local Walmart. Thanks for watching this super exciting, outrageous toy review. Make sure to like, subscribe, and check out our other videos.